Welcome to the Way and Pay setup and usage tutorial. We're going to show you everything you need to be able to use your Way and Pay app with your Way and Pay scale. First of all, you want to hook up your Way and Pay scale to the Clover. It has to be a CAS 20W scale. That's the only scale that is NTAP certified to work with the Clover unit as well as the Way and Pay. And yes, the Way and Pay app is NTAP certified, so you are legal tender to use it for trade. What you want to do is set the scale so that it will work through the serial port on the bottom. Hook up the, the Clover cable that came with your CAS 20W scale to the bottom of the scale and then hook it into the USB port on the Clover. You want to make sure your connections are really good and tight. Make sure it's powered on also. Then you want to go through and uh, follow this little procedure right here. You can also see this procedure on our website at wayandpay.helpsite.com. And so you basically just follow this procedure and that'll set up the CAS 20W scale so that it's speaking through the serial port, which is necessary for our app as well as for the Clover system and for the register. Okay, once you set up your system, I'm going to show you, you want to come over to your Way and Pay app and come over here to the Wayne Pay app. And what you'll see, there's a list here of all of your items that are weight-based items that you're selling. If this is blank right here, or if you have new items, I'm gonna show you how to set up your weight-based items in your inventory first, because you need to set, set up your inventory items that are weight-based before you can use the Wayne Pay app. So what you wanna do is go to the inventory app, on your Clover device, or you can go to the inventory app on your merchant dashboard. It'll work either way. Uh, you tap under items and you tap add item. Okay. And as far as the item name, let's call it um, peaches. Right. Then you want to make this a uh, per unit item. That means you're selling it based on a unit. And then what is the unit? Well, we're going to set it to, you know, say OZ. Now this uh, demo doesn't is not working very well as far as seeing it, but that's an OZ right there. And then this is the price per per unit. Actually, let's set this to LB per pound. Okay. And we'll say the price is say a dollar twenty dollar forty nine per unit, which is a pound. LB, don't put the don't put a period, don't put LB period, just LB or ounce would be OZ or kilogram would be KG. <coughs> Excuse me. Tap say. Okay. See, that's how you add your items to your inventory, and those that's how you add your weight-based items to your inventory. Okay. After you've added all of your weight-based items, you can come over to the Way and Pay app, and see right here, you'll see a list of all the weight-based items that you've added in your system. Let's just pick blueberries here for the purpose of this test um, that I'm showing you. So we're gonna what you want to do is pick the item. <coughs> see, you'll see a list of all the containers you've already set up. And uh, let's say you want to set up a new container. Let's call it large. So you name it. You put your container on your weight scale. Okay. So I'm going to put the container on the weight scale. This is going to be a fairly light container. And so let's just say we, we put the container on the scale. And um, in this case, we uh, need to restart the app because we set it up for a demo and did not reset it. So, you know, so we're gonna just do that again. Okay, so now as you can see you have a scale and we're gonna choose blueberries, give it a name of a container, let's call it large, the large container of blueberries. And here's the weight of our large container. Then you just tap add container, see that? There you go, see? So this is gonna give you a list of all the containers. See under brisket, there's no containers under this one, there's no containers, but under blueberries, we have a small container, we have a large container, and you set those up by, by you pick the item, add the name, and then, and then put the item, put the container just by itself on the scale and tap add container, okay? Once you've set up all your containers for all your items, then you can use them. Now there's an old system and a new system, okay? I wanna show you the new system because chances are likely that you're using the new system. You just go to the register and you would sell your item. Let's say it's blueberries. When you add that item, the register is going to ask you for the weight of that item. And so you can just basically put your item on the scale. And that's in, it's including the basket, right? And then tap Add. Now what we're going to do, see so we popped up a little question here, which is, hey, how many, um, how many containers are on the scale right now? And you can just choose, right? 
So you can say there's one large container on the scale. We'll give you the new weight where we subtract off the weight of the container. You can tap add to basket. And there you go. That's the new, that's the weight of just the item minus the container weight. And um, you can just pay it out like you would normally. Okay. So, so does that make sense? So what you would do is you would, you would just find your item that you're selling. Say it's the blueberries. When you purchase it, Clover is going to ask you the weight of that item. You're going to put it on your scale, including your containers. You're going to tap add. When you tap add, we're going to ask you the weight of the container that's on there. And, and uh, I'm sorry, we're going to ask you the number of containers. So you just choose, let's say there's one small. You do add the basket. That's it. That's how you'd use the app. If you're using it in the, if you're one of the, if you're a new user and you haven't used it before, we changed the way the app works and that's how it works. Okay. If you're an older user, then what you would do, I'm going to set this to be, um, what you can do is, um, you, by the way, if you're an older user, you can use the new system by just going under this three dot menu. See, it says use button system. It'll say use new system. If you're, if you're a user of the old system, you can choose the use new system and it'll start using what I just showed you there. But let's go back to the old system, use button. Okay. And you know, nothing changes with the setup of the app or anything, but when you have the button system set up, then you'll have a little, see that little blue weight icon right there? So the way you would use the old system is when you want to sell a weight-based item, you would tap this. We would show you a list of all your weight-based items. This is actually in a bonus uh, mode, so you can't see them. You would choose your item, and you'd, you'd choose your containers, and you'd tap Add to Basket. It'd be right here, okay? And so... So the new system is a lot easier and it's going to be a lot more accurate for you. But if you are using the old system, when you need to sell a weight-based item, you would tap the weight scale. You would find the item you're selling, tap it, choose the number of containers, and tap add to basket where it says bonus right here. Okay, That's actually going to say add to basket. So we just have it in a different mode right now, so you can't really see it. But So that's how you use the Weigh and Pay app. If you need help with the Weigh and Pay app, you can go... And um, under the Wayne Pay app, you can tap right here and tap Help and Fact. There's a number right there. You can you can text Call Me to this number, or we have a auto auto bot that'll answer a lot of your questions. Or you can go to WaynePay.HelpSite.io or WaynePay.HelpSite.com, and um, and and everything we shared with you right here, including this video, will be available on our website.